Hey, thanks for joining me today. I've got a fun topic. With Father's Day approaching, I thought it was only appropriate that my title be What My Father Taught Me About Investing uh, and dedicated to my dad, Ray Powell. Uh, as growing up as a kid, my dad uh, was determined to teach me that you always need to save money. Uh, don't spend all your money and with those savings then you needed to get the best return possible that you can for the least amount of risk. So keep in mind, save money, get return on that money for the least amount of risk and then the third thing is, is from the standpoint have patience with that money. And what I mean by that is that I learned a long time ago that if you put money into the markets uh, and that's one reason I got in this industry, I learned at an early age to put money into the markets, is that from the standpoint you have to give that money time to grow. So those are three key things there. I also I could add to the list that it's a myth out there that, that, that you want to make a lot of money so you can have more money. The real truth is it's not how much money you make, it's how you take what you have and what you do with it because I've met with people in all income ranges over my career and regardless of how much money they were making, if they weren't responsible with that money, saved some of that money, then guess what? They spent all that money. So those are some of the keys I wanted to share with you today. And ironically, in the financial planning process, guess what? We share it with people each and every day. So when my dad was teaching me years ago when I was young, what he was really teaching me was some of the basic principles of financial planning and wealth management. Little did I know that one day I would be passionate and have the opportunity to help so many people see their dreams and goals come true. And guess what? A lot of times it was because maybe when they were growing up, their parents didn't share that with them. So on this uh, holiday for fathers as well as in honor of parents, I would encourage each and era, every one of you, if you if you have a child, a grandchild, or if you've got a niece, a nephew, a, a, a young person you're close to, just share some of those ideas as well as some of the mistakes you've made with your money because that also is just as important for them to learn from. Hope everybody has a great uh, weekend and I'm looking forward to talking to you soon.